to install the Mojo programming language, go to the developer.modular.com forward slash download. The link is also provided down in the description of the video. At the time of recording this video, Mojo is not available for Windows but you can use it on a Linux container or remote system. Here is a step-by-step -step instruction provided for someone who wants to install Mojo programming language on WSL2 on Windows. But if you are using a different operating system, select your operating system from the menu. Here I select the Linux operating system. First of all, we have to install the modular CLI. To do that, I copy the command provided and open up VS Code in a directory that I want to have my Mojo project. After that, I paste the command that I've copied into the terminal. After the installation of the modular CLI has finished, we have to install the Mojo with the help of the modular CLI. To do that, we copy the command provided after the installation of the modular CLI and paste it into the terminal. By the way, if you are interested in more tutorials on Mojo programming language, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to not lose future Mojo programming tutorials. After the installation of Mojo has finished, you have to add the Mojo to the path. Depending on your operating system, whether you are using ZSH default on macOS or Bash default on Linux, you have to copy the commands provided after the installation of Mojo and paste them line by line on the terminal. Now we install the Mojo programming language VS Code extension. Of course, the extension provides syntax highlighting and other language features, which facilitate the development process. So we go to the Extensions tab of the Visual Studio Code and search for Mojo. We select the one provided by the modular, which has blue check mark on the bottom, and install the Mojo extension. After the Mojo extension is installed, I go to the terminal again and type echo dollar sign modular underline home. Then I copy the output. Now inside the VS Code, I create a new file with the .mojo format. You can also use the .fire emoji, but uh, that's not a best practice, so I use the .mojo. After opening up a file with .mojo format, a message pops up. I click on it. If the message didn't pop up, you can go to the settings of the VS Code and search for modular home path. Now paste the output we copied from the terminal into the modular home path. Close the settings page. Now in our file, we type fn main open and closing parenthesis colon and print hello world. Note that you have to type print hello world inside the main function. I will talk about the functions in Mojo later. The main function acts as the entry point of the program. Now we run the Mojo file in the terminal and it prints hello world. You can also use the Mojo REPL by typing Mojo in the terminal and hitting enter. REPL stands for Read Evaluate Print Loop. Inside the REPL you can type print hello world but you don't have to put the print inside the main function in the REPL. To see the output of the print you have to hit the enter not once but twice. You can get out of the REPL by typing colon quit. If you want to build the executable binary out of your Mojo program, here I mean the main.mojo file, type mojo build and the name of your file. An executable binary will be created in the same directory. You can call the binary to see the output in the terminal. You can also check the size of the output binary by typing ls-lh and the name of the binary. As you can see, the size of the output binary is 1.1 megabytes. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to not lose the future Mojo programming tutorials. Thanks for watching this video and see you all later.